What's up guys, I'm Death Infinox Gaming and welcome back to my channel and we're back again with the 8th build to cripple the behemoth in a single throw. So let's just try this build out on Thunder Deep Drush right here. It's ready and my determination is almost ready too. It's on level 3. I did a little bit warm up. Let's make it out to level 4 first before we do anything with the damage. Of course, we want it to be critical, so we stack up our pulse and there's a the critical. Ouch! Didn't plan to get hit. Alright, he's angry. Get a free hit and evade. There we go. Where is it? Okay, get behind a single arm. Ugh! Stack up our determination and it's at max. Alright. Do I have tenacious here? I don't think I do. So let's not take the potion because we don't need it. And we want to hit the tail. Behemoths have a very low resistance on the tail. And here we go. 52k. Easy peasy. And it's that. As you can see, this build is nuts for damage. And it deals... A hat lot more if you take your catalyst right there. It's around 55% more damage, which means it should deal around 70,000 ish. Well, I did not take my catalyst because I don't really want to waste my tonics because I'm trying to make a build here to be as cheap as possible with only using the Blitz tonic. So, before I show you the build, I'm going to try this build out one more time on another behemoth. Oops, there we go. Because I don't want to lose my determination in the middle of explaining. Alright, I'm out of the tonic. That's the shield. That's the shenanigans. We're going to kill range at once first if it spawns one, but there is none. So let's just continue on. It's gonna jump again, I guess, or is it gonna rush? It's gonna rush. Kaboom. Broken shield. Whoops. Did not plan for that to happen, but happens anyways. Kaboom. 10k. Easy. Why is it 10k? Because you're not at full determination. So your Astro will deal more damage on maximum determination and it's that. I'm, I was just about to show you the damage. Too bad, I guess. So, before I show you the build, I'm going to go fight another behemoth one more time. I don't want to deal with Skarn right now because I cannot showcase the damage because of that tough ice shield that it has. But I won't be fighting the same behemoth. So, if this, the next behemoth spawning is either Thunderdick Drust or the Skarn, I'm going to skip it. Alright. So, let's do some bit. Unfortunately, my determination is not on the max, so I cannot showcase the one throw that deals very high damage. But that's fine. I'm content with 52k without catalyst. Kaboom. 15k. Come here. Savit so can deal flurry of attacks. But its HP is not really that high. No! That's the wrong timing right there. Let's break the arms. Kaboom. 22k. Easy. Let's break the reproduction pot. Or maybe that's the name. Alright. That's. It only has one fourth of HP left. We're going to land a hit. To activate the pulse. Uh, well, I guess that's a bit too fast. So we're going to go through the Somclaw first before I go to the build. Okay, 
otherwise the video will be five minutes long and that's not what we wanted okay evade and kablooey 25k stop screaming i know it hurts oops accidentally press that one ouch Failed to evade on time, but I guess that's fine. Alright. We're not gonna hit that. Because we're an S user, we're going to topple the behemoth with our attacks. That's how the real X player does do things, okay? And as you can see, this build is just nuts. You can actually kill behemoths very fast, especially this. Uh, counter types of behemoths. I fought four behemoths in one video, I guess, and it's six minutes. So let's go through the build real quick. No need to be quick actually because I have finished the battle. So here's the build. I know I made this build previously, but there is a slight change to increase the damage output that you can get from a single throw, and that is Blade Storm and Sharpened. So Blade Storm and Sharpened both activates when you successfully dodge through an attack. One increases your part damage by 100% and the other increases your part damage by 400. Okay, so this both can stack and as you can see when we evade through attacks there is going to be a 2 boost that is going on cooldown around 4 to 5 seconds with the blade storm and the sharpened. Make sure you don't get hit so that you don't lose your predator, catalyst for your attack speed and everything else that you want, just take it. And if you did take Catalyst when you're fighting the Thunder Deep Drust, just like I did before, the damage would be 70,000k is instead of 52k. Cutting Pulse and your Discipline for your Criticals. And that's the perk summary, we're going to go through the equipment. And it's the Dark Watch from Shroud with Blitzstorm. The Karabakh with Cunning. The Malkarian with Predator and the chronovore with pulse okay so that's a really good one koshai because i want to reposition myself as frequently as possible because i want to keep charging my attacks so that i can have full determination that way i can deal a very high single throw damage but if you don't want koshai's bloom that's fine you can always switch to pangas right discipline and here's the weapon Koshai, the unique ability is one that cannot be replaced by anything else because you gain additional 50% damage on your next two attack every 4 seconds if you don't hit the behemoth okay so this one is really good for your damage and that's why i can deal 52k it is because of this one too grim on slot and overcharge cylinder so as always i'm going to give a brief explanation so in order to be able to deal high damage in a single throw you're going to need to evade through an attack Yes, I know you don't need to evade through attack for high damage. I mean, a single throw without evading will deal 10k to 20k. But if you are able to evade through attacks, then it will deal even more. So evade through attack, don't get hit, so that all your buffs are activated. Make sure you don't attack the behemoth in 4 seconds, so that your Kosai unique ability is activated. Throw the behemoth and you're going to see miracle damage. That's all for the video, I hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, it's free and you can always subscribe. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.